Hello, this is Telephone Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you an add-on that has been implemented into Blender since 2.49. And it's called the Import Images as Planes in the Blender. Which is something that you would think would be very simple and easy to do, but actually it isn't. Because once you, the old way of doing it, or the manual way of doing it, would be creating a plane by pressing Shift A. Then go into plane, once that's been put in there, if it's not you've unwrapped, you have to go into the node editor, or the shader uh, editor in 2.8. I think it's still the node editor in 2.79 uh, and below. But you'd have to go in there, then import it, set up your uh, mesh system, get the dimensions correct, and if it's a PNG image that has a transparent background, that makes it even worse. But in Blender, as I said, 2.49 and upwards, they implemented an add-on called images as planes being imported into Blender. And to activate the add-on, it's the same way. Just go to Edit, Preferences, and let's type in Images. And here it is. You just activate it by checking, putting a check mark in the box, and it's ready to go. And let's delete this cube here so I can show you how it works. Now, this add-on is very, very helpful when it comes to importing images that have transparent backgrounds maybe a, a uh, tree line or a cityscape and this is the way to do it let's delete our cube here and 2.79 is a little bit different but I'll still show you how to do it in 2.79 you go to file import images as planes and you can navigate to where you've saved your images I've, I've made a folder for mine so I'm gonna click on that folder I'm going to navigate to where I've uh, saved a PNG image with a transparent background. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me scroll down here. It's a lot of images, but it's somewhere. Oh, here it is. And you just press import image as plain. Just click on that. So you have some options here for importing it, but usually these options here, you don't really need to touch any of that. And it's pretty much good to go. Just import images as planes. We're going to change our viewport viewing, so to speak. So you can see the texture. And there it is. It's that simple, that easy. As I said, prior to that add-on being implemented into Blender, it was just kind of a headache trying to get an image with the right dimensions. You can see it's right dimensions. It's transparent where it's supposed to be transparent. So there's no issues, no problems. It just works like that. And 2.79 is a little bit different. I think there are two options for it. Let's do the same thing. Let's delete our cube. And you can go to File, Import, Images as Planes, or short code be Shift A. And the option pops up in the uh, pop up menu, Images as Planes. And your options are on this side. But let's, let's navigate to where I've saved that texture again or any other texture. It has a transparent background. Let me see, Blender Textures. There it is. Let me change the way this looks. Turn it to thumbnails, and I'm going to scroll down to where that same image is. Click on that. And your options, once again, they're on this side. But usually, the parameters here, you don't have to touch at all, and it just works as is. Click on Import Images as Planes. And it's pretty much the same thing. Cycles render. I don't know if this is going to do it. Because that only changes to GPU compute and the viewport. You yeah, haven't used um, 2.7 in a while, but the result is still the same pretty much. You can't, you can't really tell here, but it's, it's the same result. Uh, but yeah, that's the easiest way you can import an image into Blender as is without fiddling with the node editor to adjust the size or the transparency. And that's uh, today's Blender Quick Tip. And uh, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And those of you who will subscribe in the future, thank you guys who have watched the videos I've put out. So that hopefully it's helped as many people as possible. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.